How's it going, guys? We got a tutorial for you today. I'll be hooking my buddy up, fading his sides, and giving him a V in the back. And he definitely is in need of a cut. So we're gonna start this off by um, picking his hair out really good. You wanna make sure you get everywhere, the back to the front, pick it out as good as you can. This way, all the hair is in its natural state, all right? start by doing the V in the back using my uh, babyless skeleton trimmers. I'm just going to go ahead and go over what I previously had done in my last haircut. All right, to start the cut, I'm gonna go ahead and make my first guideline. It's gonna start from where the temple area is. It's gonna wrap around the head to where the, um, the top of the V is. It's just gonna come to a nice point. I'm gonna go ahead and shave it down really good using my trimmers. Now these trimmers are very sharp. They got a real thin blade, um, which helps me cut real close to the skin without um, you know, shaving with an actual electric shaver because uh, he can't have that on the side of his head or it'll break out in the box. Now I got my Austin Fast Feeds and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the clipper, which is considered a half blade. I'm gonna make a one inch band um, following that same initial guideline. I went ahead and I threw my one guard on there. I have it open, so it's a one and a half. I'm gonna also continue, continue doing the same one inch band over the half blade. So you're gonna have two, um, basically two one inch strips. Now to kind of um, remove some of that bulk, I'm just gonna go ahead and clipper and comb. Pull the hair out with the comb before I use it. This way, you know, um, I'm only hitting the excess hair that needs to come off. So as you can see, you know, I'm just slightly skimming um, whatever is hanging over and making it look like it's, the transition is really bad, real, from real dark to real light too quick. So just kind of spread that out a little bit. Now I put my 1 16th guard on my Osterfast feeds and I'm gonna go ahead and blend downwards into the half blade. So um, the more I close the actual clipper lever, um, the lower I have to blend. You know, I'm gonna be blending toward the bottom of the actual guideline. So you should see it starting to come together as you uh, get toward the end of this.
clipper, no guards on it, close it halfway, I'm gonna blend down that last line, and uh, that gets us in a direction we wanna be, where it's starting to look faded, minus any little imperfections that you have to touch up, that we can always hit later after the shape up. Or even if they're really prominent, if they really stand out at the moment, you could always hit them right now using the proper guard for the proper area. In this case, I put my one guard back on, I got it closed, and I'm just gonna hit any spot that seems too dark, I'm gonna knock it down and make it a little bit lighter so it blends a little better. Here on the other side, I'm gonna put it in fast forward motion. Uh, it's gonna be the same exact steps, so I'm gonna still put it in here just so you guys can at least watch it and check it out and see what I do. Now I can start um, doing the lineup, just uh, keep it natural, and as you can see, you know, the, the lower I keep it, the lighter the hair is, but once I'm done going over it, it'll be a little more prominent, it'll stick out a little better, you actually see some lines uh, being put in there. So we're going to go ahead and go over it once, then we're going to do some hair fibers and you know, touch up there. See right here on his um, forehead, he's got a little bit of a lighter spot um, as compared to his left side, which is a little darker, comes in a little better. So, um, you know, the, the hair fibers are gonna patch that up real nice and uh, make it look a little darker than what it is now. And, and he'll be on his way. Right here, I'm gonna spray some um, Kiss Express on there. It's a uh, K98 black. I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly hit this area real quick. Just to darken it up, make the skin look like it's, um, you know, like it's a little bit of hair there when it's really not. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process on the sides of the temple area right here, just to make it stand out a little more. So this way, when I put hair fibers on there, it, it uh, does a real good job and I have easier lines to follow.
here I have the hair fibers. I'm gonna go ahead and go over the same area um, that I just did. Just I'm gonna hold that card nice and tight to that line so this way it comes out real accurate. Now there are other ways to apply this stuff. Some people like to put it on first before they do the shape up. The reason I don't do that is because when you're actually shaping them up after, the lines that you're going by, you don't know if it's the actual hair that's on their head or if it's the just the fiber you're cutting. So when they're done and it all washes out, it might not look so good. So at least here I'm following the line that I gave him in the first place. As you can see, I put a little bit too much on his side over here and I'm using the um, comb. Comb will blend it out perfectly. So if you have any issues where you put too much, don't worry about it. Just blend it with a comb, um, throw some heat on it after you put the sealer, call it a day. As you can see, it's filling in the hair um, real nicely, making it look like a nice solid color. Um, so the hairline looks nice and strong. So then we're gonna seal it in with a sealer, go back over it with a trimmer, uh, and then give him the razor later on. It's gonna pop real nice. Here I have a magic pencil, barber magic pencil. Um, this is just to, um, you know, make the the skin a little bit lighter in that area. So when it blends together, it makes the shape up and the haircut pop a little more. The blends look a little better. Um, so you just lightly touch the skin with it. Don't um, press too hard because you have a chance of <laughs> really leaving a lot of this um, the material from the pencil on your client's forehead, and it's kind of hard to get off and it gets real waxy. So. Um, put it in minor doses on because um, you could always add more it sucks to take off uh, and then you're going to go over it with your trimmer and then go over it with your actual razor it's going to pop real nice it's going to look real good chair back whenever I'm doing the, uh, the shape up. Uh, this way I can go against the grain, use my black little razor. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch the skin and uh, I'm gonna come straight up to the line where the hair fiber is and I'm gonna make sure I do my best not to go past it because that's how you know you, you push people back and that's what we, we ain't trying to do that. So go ahead and pull that skin and just go over the whole hairline and you should notice that um, if you follow these steps it's gonna look real nice.
right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with some water. Uh, this way his hair curls a little easier. We're gonna throw the sponge on there. Um, and we're gonna just curl the hair up real nice. See where he's at for a final look. And give him whatever little touch-ups you need to give to make the haircut perfect. This is your time to go over all your blends. Um, go over a couple of your lines if you need to. Um, trim some of the long hair on the ends where it doesn't might not blend together perfectly with you know your shears. Um, this is your, this is your moment to shine. This is where you got to make sure you have it right before the client leaves the chair. So I, from my point of view, I see it looks good, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the shears and I'm gonna um, cut on the right side of his head mainly. I'm gonna cut both sides, but the right side of his head has some hairs that really got to get shaped in. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, freehand clip them with these shears and make it look nicer than what I, I see it is so um, this way when he leaves he's happy that's the goal now with this technique you gotta be real careful as you can see I'm using my other hand as like a little foundation um, to rest my cutting hand on this way I can get real accurate and real close to whatever, you know, um, hairs I need to without cutting too far or make sure I'm cutting enough, you know. This is the cut. This is the final look. Hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully you learned something. Um, like, comment, please subscribe. I'm going to have some more videos coming out soon, all right? Peace out.